Hi, Janice Wheeler. I'm the president of The Art of Management, and we are a Canadian practice management company. So I don't want to take all of your time today, so I'm going to do this very quick. I want to talk about internal marketing. People think they have to spend all these dollars on external marketing, on digital marketing, social media, and all of those things, which you do need a website and you do need to have social media somewhat. But where the real money comes from is patients coming into your practice that your own patients have referred to you. And how you do that is a, what we call internal marketing. And I have a list here that I compiled of a bunch of different ways that you could do internal marketing to attract people into the practice without spending a dollar. Okay, so I'm gonna go down the list fairly quick. So how you and your team interact with your patients obviously is the number one thought process you should have when you think about what would inspire a patient to refer a friend or family member or a neighbor or a coworker, okay? Um, that first phone call by the patient into the practice, uh, first person greeting the person when they walk into the practice for the first time, how your technical staff deal with people, um, the care and interest that everybody, including you as the owner of the practice, put into that patient. And of course, then of course, they will refer people to you. So here's a bunch of different ways. So that first call to the practice, the person handling it, the sh handling the shopper on the phone or the first, maybe they're phoning just to make an appointment, they're not even shopping. They have to be greeted and dealt with absolutely correctly because that's the first contact that the person has with your practice. Okay, answering the phone warmly and with care. I always put that on the list and I don't mean it for the new patients phoning in, I mean for anybody, because sometimes as a receptionist, you do have a patient standing in front of you, maybe two, and you got a staff member asking you a question and all of these things are happening and they pick up the phone, they go, yes, <laughs> or Dr. So-and-so's office, how can I help you? As opposed to everything out of your mind, go, when you pick up that phone, it's, hi, Dr. So-and-so's office, how may I help you? Or you can say, my name is Janice. How do I help? How can I help you? Do you see what I mean? There's a difference. So staff, no matter what, and I have trained many of my own staff over the 34 years we've been doing this, to do just that, to be able to stop everything and answer the phone with a proper sound. Um, <clears throat> seeing a new patient within 48 hours, believe it or not, that's important to a lot of people. Um, having your staff well-groomed. Uniforms are cool, and I really like them in some practices. Um, you know, various colors and styles, but the staff can't take them off at night and throw them in a corner in a bundle and pick them up in the morning and put them back on and be all wrinkled and messy and stuff. I've seen it all. Um, so having staff well-groomed though, like makeup, hair, looking, you know, like they're at work. Having an enthusiastic doctor and staff. So if you've got staff that are like, yeah, so what's your problem? Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all. You know, where's that gonna go with the patients? So you need to have both the doctor and the staff being enthusiastic with the patient, like really caring about them and showing that. Um, okay, here's another one, hurt list. Um, I know a lot of doctors, when they do a treatment that's a little heavier than normal, they will call the patient or client at, at, at night and say, how are you doing? Or on the way home, I know people take their hurt list with them when they drive home nowadays, and they call. However, another really cool one that saves you time because when you call a person in person, they like to talk sometimes. They'll tell you the whole story about how they walked home and the pain is hurting. You know, like you don't need to hear all of that. So what you could do though, is do a very quick selfie to each of those people. Hi, Dr. So-and-so here. Um, I know it was a, a big treatment today and I'm hoping that you're doing fine. But if you're not, my phone number is what I'm calling you on right now. Give me a call back. Thanks, bye. Chances are they're not gonna call you it's there if they need to. Um, the next one, holiday guessing contest. Like um, on, you know, on Halloween, you can have um, Halloween candies in a jar or something and they put in their best guess. There's a nice prize for whoever gets closest to the guests. We sometimes do uh, Valentine's Day. We've been known to buy a bunch of Hershey Kiss. I mean, a really large amount and putting in a huge vase. And people had to guess how many were in it and whoever got closest, of course, got the prize, the Easter egg hunt, we did the same thing. You know, you can have a lot of fun and your patients, they enjoy this. This turns them on to your practice because it makes it real and personal and so on. 
emailed monthly newsletter. Um, don't make it long. It's just a short, um, you know, just a little blurb about something in the practice and any changes that have happened and that sort of thing. You can put a little trivial thing in. You can put a picture in of your staff doing something fun, that sort of thing. Um, but it keeps patients in touch with your practice when they're not at your practice. Um, service to the patient above and beyond expectations. That is the most key point of all of this internal marketing is that patients got that exchange beyond beyond for what they were paying and what they thought they were going to get today. Another one, running on time. Do you know how many patients complain about how their doctor doesn't run on time? It's a prime complaint. And I know it's difficult, but you actually can work it out and you can actually, it's either your scheduling is being done wrong or your staff are doing it wrong or your patients are not trained to come in a little in advance of their appointment time so that you get started on time. I mean, there are so many different ways that that can be handled. We have helped 700 and, well, 1,800 clients all together handle this exact problem. Um, oh, having amenities such as coffee, water, Netflix, uh, warm blankets, uh, whatever is required, headphones. People love headphones if you're doing a treatment. It depends what profession you are. Personal touch notes. This means that old style green ink on the chart of the patient. Uh, make a note, grandson graduating in four months. Ask how it went when you see them next time. Okay. Um, but you can put it in the computer nowadays. It doesn't have to be on a hard copy chart and shouldn't be. But I was just reminding you where it comes from. Okay, how about beautiful and unique decor? I have a client that has wallpaper that is so incredible. People actually refer their friends, family, neighbors, and coworkers in to that practice because you won't believe the, the wallpaper he has on one wall in each uh, treatment room. It's got spectacular floor to ceiling, wall to wall, wallpaper on one wall, the big long one. So um, what else? I've got a couple more. Thank you for referral cards. So if you somebody does refer someone to you, you should send them a nice thank you card. You can put a $5 Tim Hortons card in or a $5 Starbucks card in. Um, saying thank you at the end of each visit. You know, who, who remembers to do that? Thank you for coming in today, Mrs. Smith. Okay, special occasion cards. Some practices like to do this and most don't, but you can. It's um, because you can do them by email nowadays. Happy birthday or happy anniversary or whatever you've got a note on. Um, and last but not least, ask the patients for referrals. Say, how do you feel about giving us a referral? Like you have friends, family, neighbors, coworkers that uh, maybe are looking for a new whatever profession you are. You know, and if they're really happy, ask them. If you like the patient, ask them. If you don't like that patient, don't ask them because they'll send more people just like them. So that's all I have to say today. There are more, but I, I'm out of time. Okay, good. So have fun with that. If you want more help on marketing, give us a call. We're experts on it. Okay, thanks. Bye.